my name is Charity Work and I'm 26 and I am a homosexual. Um, I grew up in Melbourne. I've lived here my whole life and I've just recently started to get into stand-up, which has been a whole fun new venture for me. It's been good. My pre-show ritual is pretty much getting dressed because it takes me two hours to get this gorgeous. Um, mostly it's just a lot of swearing and fucking it up and having to start again and telling myself that I'm not actually going to go to the gig, but then I always pull through and eventually get to the gig, even if I've got one eye lopsided or something like that. So that's my pre-show ritual, a lot of swearing. As you can see, I do like to get dressed up. I come from a pretty flamboyant family. When I was 18, my dad bursts into the kitchen and is like, I can't hold it in anymore. And I'm like, oh my God, dad, what is it? And he's like, I don't know how to tell you this, but um, you're gay. <laughs> and I'm just like completely stunned. You know, I'm like sitting there in my sequin gown, just like, <laughs> how does he know? <laughs> Raw comedy for me was how it all began. Like, I had always gone to see the Raw comedy grand final um, with my boyfriend and we were always in the audience watching it. And one year I went to see the year that Danielle Walker won. And I was saying to my boyfriend, I was like, she's incredible and if someone that weird can win, surely I can have a good go of it. So that next year, I was like, that's it, I'm gonna do Raw. So I went to look up all the heats, but by the time that I'd got my shit together, I'd actually missed all of the heats in Melbourne. And the only thing that was available in Victoria was a heat in Warrnambool. So I applied for this heat in Warrnambool, which is like in regional Victoria. And I was like, okay, this will be a first you know, a drag queen heading in a, a car all the way to Warrnambool. And I did not know how it was gonna go. I thought it could go one or two ways, you know, I could get there and they'd love it, or I could get there and, you know, I'd get stabbed. So um, I got into this bar, everyone's in wife beaters, and I'm just like, yep, this is how I die. Get up on stage, do my set for Raw, and it went over a hit. And I ended up winning that heat and going through to the other rounds. And from there, met a lot of great people, and. Here we are. So, yeah, I'm actually really glad that I had that kind of trial by fire somewhere like Warrnambool because it got it all started for me. But it's like I always say, opinions are like assholes. Mine's the best. <laughs> um, well, that was my first stand-up gig. Um, before... Before Raw, I had been doing a lot of stage comedy, like sketches and musical theatre. And drag had always been a big hobby of mine and I really wanted to kind of like marry the two. So I thought, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna dive in, I'm gonna give it a go and try it all at once. So I gave myself permission and dived in. And yeah, it was great. Other than the obvious difference between my onstage and offstage personas, I would say that I'm not actually as different from my regular day boy self that people would expect. I'm a lot more honest in my comedy as charity because I feel like I'm able to kind of take it all off at the end of the night. So if people don't like it, well, that's on them and I don't necessarily have to kind of like take that baggage home with me. So I found that through performing in drag and as charity, I've found my comedy to be a lot more authentic and me. And it's a lot of fun. For example, I have discovered that my boyfriend is a stress cleaner. So for those of you who aren't familiar with stress cleaners, it's someone who like, when they're nervous or anxious about something, they just like to like fix things or like clean up around the house. So I've been keeping him in like a constant state of anxiety. <laughs> and our house is immaculate. <laughs> Some days when I'm like really not feeling it, I'll be waiting in the hallway cupboard when he comes home from work, just like, baby, it's an earthquake. And he's like, oh my God, I gotta do the dishes. My comedy career goal is definitely to have my own stage show. I love music theater, as I said, and I really wanna marry my comedy with a full-fledged production. You know, I would love to be supported by like 
an awesome band or something like that. That would definitely be the dream. I'd also love to write my own TV show or something like that. But they're definitely my aspirations. So we were doing what bored couples do, you know. We were making out in the back row when this guy, about five rows ahead of us, who's there with his girlfriend, spins around. And he's just kind of like, Oi! Get that gay shit out of my face! And I'm just like, quickly counting. You know, I'm like... We're five rows behind you. Like, we're literally not in your face. Like, face the front, dickhead. And he's just kind of like, Oi! Don't try it! I could beat you up! My girlfriend could beat you up. And then my boyfriend's like, no, I'm sure your girlfriend is a good person. And then this guy comes back with the shittest response that I have ever heard. And he's just kind of like, she's not a good person. (laughs) And then to make matters worse, she just spins around as well, just kind of like, I'm really not. The Comedy Zone is at Trades Hall. We're on every night of the festival from the 26th of March to the 21st of April. We're on at 8.30, except for Sundays when it's 7.30. And we're in the meeting room at Trades Hall. So if you can, come down, it's gonna be a good time. Thanks guys, I'm Charity Work, have a great night.